Hey guys, it's Ashlyn. Dun. So today I'm going to be doing an eye look using the My Little Pony palette by Colourpop. I just got this palette in the mail not too long ago along with a lot of other things. I've never used this on my eyes. First of all, I just wanted to say this packaging... It is so cute and all the colors in it are so pretty and all of the looks I've seen online and stuff like that are adorable. So I don't really know what else to say besides let's just get started. I feel like we're really close right now. I'm starting off by using the Wet n Wild face primer. My skin has been kind of dry lately, like especially around my nose, which is really weird. Oh my gosh. One second. What I was trying to say is that my face has been really dry lately. I think it's just because it's really cold here. Like, it's literally going to be ice storming today. And so, I'm putting on, like, a more moisturizing primer. When I forgot to say it, I already did my brows. So, next I'm moving on to eyes. So, I'm going to be... I'm going to be... So, I'm going to be starting off with the Essence I Heart Color Intensifying Eye Primer. So, now moving into the My Little Pony palette. I'm going to set my eyelids with the white shade. Um, and I believe it's called Bluebell. Next color I'm going to use is the orange type of shade. It's called Applejack, which is very suiting. Of course. This one I noticed has way more like kickback, I guess that's what you call it. I'm next going in with this pink shade called Flutterby, and I'm going to put that in my crease. This shade had like almost no kickback at all. And now I'm going in with this kind of purpley pink shade. And it's called Sky Dancer. And I'm going to put that on my, like, outer corner. Yep, this one has quite a bit of kickback also. I'm putting it on, like, my outer corner and kind of in the crease. Ooh, this is actually a really pretty color. It's way more pigmented than I expected. And for my lid shade, I'm going to use this orange color because it's really pretty. And it's called Starshine. I swatched it and it's gorgeous. I'm actually gonna spray my brush with some Mario Badescu you, 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 you. spray because it wasn't really as pigmented as I wanted it to be. It was more just like sparkle. Oh yeah, much better. And I'm going back in with a little bit of Applejack, which was the orangey shade, and I'm just blending everything out. And lastly, I'm taking Flutterby, so I'm running it on my lower lash line. I feel like this video has been so boring so far. I'm sorry. Like my voice has been so just like bleh. So moving back onto face, I'm going to not do foundation today, so I'm just going to go in with my um, Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Very Fair. This concealer I've been going to a lot lately. I love my Tarte Shape Tape, but I'm feeling it a little risque today, so I'm going to use this brush to blend this out. I have been hating using sponges lately, and I don't even know why. I think it's just because I'm too lazy to wet them, and then they're like super hard, and I don't know. I just don't like them <laughs> lately. Here I am, using a big fat brush to blend out my concealer. I've decided since I'm not using foundation, I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of conceal any other areas that are just red. My nose is so dry and it's actually disgusting. Um, so just don't look at that. I was gonna use my Stay Matte because I love it. I'm actually gonna try out the Wet n Wild pressed powder because I like hated it and then I had to scrape off the, the whole entire top layer like, which is kind of a lot to get it to actually work. So now there's actually powder that comes off of it. Hopefully this, like, kind of works. Okay, it's, like, not too bad so far. So I don't like this powder, really, still. For bronzer, I'm using the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer in the shade Sunny. And I really like this bronzer. I just need to use it more. For blush, I'm using the MAC blush in the shade Dolly Mix, which is a bright pink. Um, I feel like it'll go with the look, and then I can get more use out of it. I'm now going to go in with this ColourPop highlighter in the shade Flexitarian, and it came broken, which I was really sad about, and it's super blinding. Like, you guys already know, but these Super Shock formulas are, like, wet and like kind of like a cream to powder formula so like it's super blinding like but yeah mine's broken and it's hard to use with brush so i'm gonna use my finger for the first time like i've used a brush before but like it just didn't pick up much oh my god <laughs> okay 
So I think it's safe to say that it works way better with your finger. So I'm actually not mad at it and it wasn't even hard to apply. So like, I'm just gonna excuse the fact that it's broken. I also was gonna put some of the Aurora Glow Kit on. I don't really know if I should anymore because I don't want it to like ruin that. So for mascara, I'm using my eyelash curler, of course, and the Essence False Lash Princess Mascara. And lastly, I'm using the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip, Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Aquarius. I was honestly expecting this to be way different than it is. I was expecting it to be more glossy and less pigmented, but I mean, I'm fine with it. It's a pretty color. Oh gosh. And it actually goes with this look pretty well. So this is the final look. Um, my thoughts on the My Little Pony palette. I would highly recommend this palette. Probably not if you are more of a natural gal, like, like your nudes and stuff, because that probably isn't gonna suit your needs in this palette, but if you like more fun looks, more rosy tones with maybe some pops of color, this is a really good palette to go for. I am obsessed with it now, and it's super duper pretty. I love the eye look that I came up with. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and give it a thumbs up, and comment down below, you know, anything you would like. So yeah, make sure to comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!